Hey, my name's Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. So today we're going to go over something a little bit different. Well, not so much different, but this is different in the fact this is Ezra Brooks. This is a cask strength. I uh, did a cask strength as Ezra Brooks from our Auburn ABC store. Um, but this one right here is from the bottle shop. And those who know the bottle shop, AKA the mistress, they do some great store picks. What makes this one a little more unusual is that this is the, their juice from their own distillate. Um, so they had been sourcing their whiskey. You know, this is Lux Row, people that make Blood Oath, Rebel, Ezra Brooks. Um, but they had been sourcing some of their whiskey and from what I understand when I was talking to some of the gentlemen at the bottle shop They said this is their own this when they when they pick this barrel This is their own juice. So it's something new here. So something to compare um, Also downstairs in the basement. I've got a bottle when it was uh, when it was something that they sourced from somebody else So now I have three two from the bottle shop um, That are store picks one when they got their whiskey sourced from somebody else and another uh, which is their own distillate that they're using for this. So excited to try that. <clears throat> also unpacking, you know, something else too is, you know, last night we did American Cancer Society, um, you know, did a grill out for my team yesterday, American Cancer Society. We're slinging some more barbecue out there. Uh, had a great time, got in late last night, but late last night, 501 subscribers. I was like, wow, that's fantastic. So There'll be some information about the the giveaway towards the, you know towards the end of this video um but one thing that's funny is i woke up this morning and there were 495 subscribers and i'm like okay you know something happened so there's that conundrum there what what exactly happened that i make somebody upset did something not update properly but you know what the ship sailed i saw 500 we're going to start the giveaway so today um, so exactly a week from today, there'll be, there'll be a phrase that you're going to have in this video <clears throat> that I'll say, put it in the comments of this video and you can add other things, but as long as it has this specific phrase in there, <clears throat> you're over the age of 21 in the continental U S you know, can prove that I'll make sure that we get that 500 subscriber giveaway headed to you so i'm gonna leave it open for a week in case people are on vacation in case they're traveling in case they just got tired of looking at me for a little while and they give them the opportunity to, to catch back up and things in there so must be a subscriber must have the catchphrase we'll be pulling it next saturday at noon so as the the new whistles go off i'll be pulling it um, to see who wins that uh wins that prize um, one thing I did is, is we had a poll, uh, you know, which bottle or which think gift or, or something that you would get. And it looks like the winner on that was the 13th Colony, which is the Sour Mash, which has been discontinued. This is a nine-year-old Sour Mash. Um, I enjoy it. Um, they didn't get enough business with it, so they discontinued the line. So as these bottles are off the shelf and off the market, they're gone forever. Uh, but I also put in there if you'd like an eternity, you know, infinity bottle. I'm sorry, not eternity, infinity bottle, or if you would like a, a sample pack. So those three options were there. Originally, I did the poll to say, you know, hey, let's this will be the giveaway. But as I rethink this, what if somebody really didn't want that 13th colony sour mash? What if they wanted a sample pack or an infinity body a bottle? So if you are the winner. And once we've gone through the iterations of, yes, you can receive this and all this good stuff, I'll let you pick your prize, an infinity bottle, a sample pack, or the 13th Colony Sour Mash, which has been discontinued in Sunset. So I thought that would be pretty cool, give you an option on, on what you would like. Because one thing my father always tells me is, is, when you get a gift for somebody, make sure it's something you would enjoy for yourself. So... You know, I'm thinking if I give options, I might as well let the person who wins have that option, of which they would prefer the best. So hopefully they would enjoy that gift, uh, the maximum potential. So let's get into the Ezra Brooks, uh, see what we have here. He said this is 120 proof. Um, this was a store pick from the bottle shop. Their, their store picks are phenomenal. Um, can't love them, absolutely. <clears throat> No.
nose on this, I'm getting a little bit of a, a red fruit. I'm getting a little bit of a molasses, getting some of the oak in here. I'm not getting a whole lot of the alcohol on this. So I, I open this up and let this set out for a little bit. So it just let make sure it aerate a little bit. Nice soft smell. Some good oils in there. Let's give it a taste. So I'm getting some red fruits towards the back of the palate right up front. I'm not getting um, not getting a whole lot of pepper on there. Just a little bit of pepper. It's very smooth on your mouth for 120 proof. Uh, very easy sipper. I would say that the, the sweetness on this is maybe not as much caramel, but maybe a little more molasses or, or brown sugar um, that I'm getting um, for the sweetness. And it is very sweet, so I, I do like that. That's like right in my wheelhouse. Very good mouthfeel. It's more like a red fruit. I'm thinking it's more like a raspberry or maybe a strawberry that's just got a little bit of a bitterness to it, but it's a, it's a nice... Uh, uh, I guess juxtaposition between the sweet and then you get a little bit of the the bitterness and a little bit of the red berry to it. <clears throat> it doesn't have a super long finish on it, um, but this is something that uh, it's got about a medium finish, but it's something I could see sitting down at the end of the day having a very nice pour, having a it, very easy sipper. And it's dangerous because it's 120 proof and it sips so well that, uh, you know, if you have a few of these, you, you might stand up and go, wow, what happened there? But, uh, you know, definitely something uh, worth enjoying there. Totally love it. I'll explore this a little more, but I also got a, <clears throat> a couple of samples to pour here. So this is the Fiddler Amburana. It's coming in at 110.2 proof. I uh, mentioned the other day that I was going to pour a couple of these for somebody and I wanted to get these out there. I, I always like to share my bourbon. It makes things uh, more interesting and more fun because I like to see what other people like too. You know, I like people to tell me, hey, this is something that I found very interesting. And, and just because I like something doesn't mean you're going to like it. I mean, there's totally, totally different opinions on things. You know, some people might want something that's a little more um, grassy. Some people might want something that's a little more oaky. Some people may not like the sweet that I like, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, this one on here, I got a lot of cinnamon, and I'm a big cinnamon fan, so I'm very interested to see when they try this, what their thoughts are on these, because I just absolutely love this. I've got to get a, a sample of this over to Paul as well, who's kind of the one that turned me whoop, onto this. <coughs> So I got to make sure that I save some of this. I only got two bottles, but we're doing good on this so far. So no big concern there. Yeah, the more I drink this, the more I really like the mouthfeel on this. Um, it just goes down super, super smooth and easy. Did a fantastic job. They've also got a barrel pick of Rebel there, which is Lux Row as well. I'm sure I'll be a sampling that one here before long because I, I just can't stay away from their store picks but um outside of that 500 subscribers thank you all so much for growing this channel please like comment subscribe if you haven't already but keep the comments going it helps me grow and hopefully it would help give more insight into things that you guys want to see um so the catchphrase for this video and it'll be you have to post it on this video is cancer sucks um, you know, we've all been impacted by someone that has cancer that's battling it now, or maybe didn't win the battle or hopefully is in remission and healed. But, uh, you know, my, my life, much like I'm sure most of yours has been impacted by cancer. My grandfather passed from cancer. My wife's father passed from cancer. 
Um, American Cancer Society is fantastic. The, you know, barbecue that we did last night or this, you know, we did brisket sandwiches. We did uh, smoked butt sandwiches and we did the Brunswick stew and we did the grilled corn. Every ounce of everything that was sold went directly to American Cancer Society. And this helps people who maybe need to travel um, and things like that and, and help hopefully find a cure. But, uh, you know, phrase for the 500 subscriber is cancer sucks. Uh, I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you for everything you've done for this channel. And please, please keep me in between the navigational beacons, making sure I'm doing things right. Thank you and have an amazing day.